Well, I'm on the farm today, and uh, it's a beautiful day. This field right here, where we've kind of rounded up the autumn olives uh, from pulling them out, uh, these brush piles need to be burned. And uh, before I do that, I need uh, I need a water source uh, over here so I can kind of dampen the fire or put it out if I need to. So I got a good idea. I'll need to farm all 350. Got to put this on. All right. Now this wrench right here was not uh, standard equipment when this farm all was new. But when I bought the farm all from the seller, evidently it was standard equipment because it was in this toolbox. Standard equipment from the seller, that is. Lowered the uh, tongue on that thing a little bit. It's cold out here this morning, but I'm moving around. Kind of getting hot. Pretty close. It just snapped down on there. Okay. So to get water to the brush piles, I need this trailer. So to hold the water, I need a tank. Wrestling this thing up onto the trailer from over there. All right, so I got the uh, tank <clears throat> kind of propped up here on my trailer where I can work at it, work at it without stooping over and making my back sore. Now I've, I've wrestled with this thing before in the past, and I had. Uh, mighty struggles because these threads on here you know I tried to buy a fitting that would fit it and it doesn't and what it is it's got a quick connect uh, fitting for a hose uh, that just snaps on there and snaps off so I got one of those and then I have to adapt it so I can put a like a garden hose on uh, for water so right there is a garden hose I've had forever. Uh, I can sacrifice it on this. All right, all right. So uh, right here's the fitting that I got that fits up on here, and uh, let's see here. I got to move these things in the opposite direction. goes on there like that and then it clamps down and I've got a fitting that goes in here uh, and I'll cut that hose I think I'm gonna cut that hose to uh, to put up on there I'll come back all right I got that cinched down that's a tight fit with the uh, o-ring that's uh, inside here up against the face of this fitting on the on the other side so now I need to put this fitting in all right, so I pulled out my collection of fittings and I got everything I need except a fitting that would screw in to the end of this hose. So what I've done, this is hose is probably 20 years old and it's all stiff. But uh, what I've done is I've cut the end of that hose off and left enough on there if I wanted to put it back together, I guess I could. I didn't have a fitting that this thing would screw into and I didn't want to take time out to go to the store and get one up. I'd rather be up here tinkering with this than shopping. But 
I've got a oh I got a reducer that goes into here and well you get the idea and then this guy screws into that and uh, what I'll do is this is all kind of, this will all kind of be temporary but it'll get me over the hump so I can use this thing with the burn pile and uh, sooner than later and then I'll revisit this whole uh, connection right here but uh, let me get this screwed in and then uh, see what I got all right so I got this on here and uh, man this is for a half inch hose which is what that is and uh, it's a real reduction uh, it's got to be a real reduction in flow uh, I was kind of wanting to use something like that but that doesn't fit the hose like I say uh, I will revisit this whole connection right here uh, another day but uh, I kind of accomplished my goal I got this uh, coupling on here and I'm able to hook a hose to it and when I get ready to when I get ready to uh, uh, fill it up with water and work on the burn piles I've got at least I've got something I can put a hose on and I got one more thing and I'll come right back all right so I got the tank sitting up in the trailer the way I want it got the hose laying up in here of course it's hooked up to the Farmall 350 and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, uh, tank right here so I'd read online my, my original intent with this tank was to use it as a tank for an herbicide sprayer. I was thinking about just making one up out of this and putting my 20-foot uh, booms on it from the sprayer I got. But the more I read, the more I wasn't too happy with uh, the overall construction of these tanks. It's one thing to haul water, uh, but... It's another thing to haul, you know, to haul, to haul chemical. And uh, I had, I, one of the things I read was the brand Schutz, S-H-U-T-Z, is one of the better uh, tanks. And if you can get one that's not white, like those fittings down there, it's likely to resist, uh, you know, sunlight, UV, uh, a little better. And, uh, but a lot of the concern online that I read with these things was the material on these tanks is really, really thin, especially down in this, uh, area, you know, where you, this, uh, where the, the, the fluid exit, exit the tank. Sometimes I struggle for words, and I apologize if it's a little windy, the wind's kind of picked up here, but, uh, Anyway, I bought this used for some guy uh, about 30 or 40 minutes from here that sells them. I don't know where he gets them, but he's got a lot of these and other tanks. And uh, so I bought this with the intent of making a sprayer out of it, and it kind of scared me. And then I ran into that 500-gallon uh, sprayer. And uh, I thought, well, that's that's the better way to go. And uh, but sometimes when we're burning brush up here, we need the ability to have a uh, uh, a goodly amount of water with us, uh, just to kind of water things down. Uh, obviously, this is not going to be high pressure. There's no pump uh, involved here. Although I guess I could rig one up, but it would be something else to do. Uh, I'm going to give this a try. I'm not too happy with this arrangement right here. I'd like a little more flow coming out. Uh, there's a valve on the end uh, coming out of the tank that I can turn it on and off with. Uh, so this tank right here is uh, 200 and... I don't know if you can see that. 250 gallons. I'll probably fill it all the way to the top. So it'll be a little more than that. 
and uh, you know the nice thing is if it busts it's just water going out on the ground it's not like a chemical uh, from you know herbicides or you know or something else so uh, kind of got it set on the wheels the way I want to kind of distribute the load kind of keep it on the wheels but keep it weighted a little heavier towards the tongue and uh, so that's kind of the that's kind of the that's kind of the project and uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope you got something out of it or uh, feel free to comment uh, hit the like button subscribe farm all 350 my old uh, utility trailer and uh, hooked up to the fast hitch and then I got this uh, IBC tank 250 gallon and uh, rigged up to put a hose on and there's my old hose so we're ready to burn a little brush again uh, hit the like button leave a comment and we'll talk to you later